What's up, YouTube? Back again with another video, man. In today's video, we're going to go over why I believe MW3 will be a top 5 Call of Duty um, and why I believe uh, I think it's going to be good, as well as why I'm excited for it overall longevity. I think the first big thing is we got the ACR back, man. Like, oh, I'm so excited for the ACR, man. People keep, the no one's really talking about the fact that the ACR is back. And I think people who are not talking about the ACR being back are not true COD fans because the ACR is what made those old MW games so much better. Um, and we're getting it back. And it's been like, it's been like 15 years since we had it. Since MW3 was the last Call of Duty to ever have an ACR. We've had ver versions of it, but nothing like it, you know? Also, quick side note, why I'm using a shotgun in the background, you know, I'm always anti-shotgunner, but I am doing the Ultra Mastery Grind. I just finished the third shotgun of, of the five that I'm doing. Um, the last two shotguns I need to do are the full auto and the uh, the uh, the semi-auto one. I forget its name, but I call it the Viper shotgun or the, or the AA-12 wannabe. Um, that's the last two I need. So... I'll be soon done with shotties, and I can move on to SMGs and LMGs and, and marksmans and the sniper that I'm going to do. So, hype there. Um, but, back to the main topic at hand. Uh, so, we know a couple things about NW3 so far. We just had the release trailer for multiplayer today, and we get the beta here in two days. We get the beta... And we know a lot. So we know how perks are going to work. I've discussed that already here on the channel. Um, so let's more focus on the new stuff that's like that I haven't talked about on the channel. And that is how, you know, creative classes are going to work in this game. So in this game, you're going to have um, not only the base creative class that we have in um, MW2, but we're also getting um, conversion kits, which is basically going to be able, for example, turn like uh, an LMG from a front-loading RPK, or I think they have the PKM in that game, um, into a bull pump LMG, making it quicker ADS, quicker mobility, and not hurting the damage. And I think this is going to be very interesting for a lot of the guns. Some of the guns I'm very concerned that are going to become really overpowered with these conversion kits. I just really hope they're balanced. Um, but this is something new in COD that we haven't had before, and I'm very interested to see um, how it goes. It'll be cool. Also, attachments that are optics that are, um, for example, one like a red dot or an ELO site or um, I want to see even a holographic site will no longer affect your ADS speed, which you're going to think that makes it's going to be more common for me to so make me, for example, to run optics um, without being worried that my ADS is going to be slower. Um, and then as well as attachments like muzzles, barrels, stocks, grips, stuff like that are all going to be now tied to one specific level. So, for example, say this ACR has a muzzle unlocked at level 20, but a shotgun unlocks the same muzzle at level 2. You, if you level up the shotgun to level 2, you'll have the, that barrel to use immediately on the ACR. So it might actually be smart if you really want a bigger build with a gun to when the game launches to grind one of the guns that has a lot more attachments that are used on other weapons right off the bat. Get that up to like say halfway and then that way when you go to use the guns that you want to use, you don't really have to grind them so hard. You can, you know, you already have the attachments unlocked. But um, some other things. It does appear that um, side canceling is a back. I was. In a way, thinking maybe it wouldn't, but from the video that I've seen, it does appear it's back. So that's an L. Um, that is probably the biggest L in this entire game, besides skill with matchmaking being the game. But having some slide canceling back is kind of cringe. I wanted canceling reloaded. I want maybe a little bit quicker slides. I wanted the ability to um, shoot while sliding a little better, um, or at all, because in MW2 you really can't at all, period. But I do not want slide canceling back because I don't want to have to constantly look at the ground every time I come around a corner for some little douchebag to be sliding around like a goddamn psycho. But it is what it is. Um, we also are getting a bunch of maps of uh, Pavela as well as High Rise and Rust all in the beta. So that's going to be kind of cool. Um, see what else is new. Uh, we do know that. Oh, I, I don't know. I don't want to say we do know, but we have. I have kind of a good idea of the level system 
it does appear to be MW2, which is a huge, humongous fucking W, um, because the two or three guns they leaked, or not really leaked, but they, they show pictures when they were doing the conversion kits, um, which were, I think, the micro S, the micro SMG, which I think is like the micro Uzi, um, the PKM, as well as um, the Renetti. They all seem to be below 30. They all like level 29, 27. So I think if those three guns are at level, I think it's safe to say that there's probably not going to be too many guns above that level range because in Mono for 2, if you guys have grinded the game, if you haven't, um, you would know that uh, the highest rank in the game for guns is 30. Uh, there's no guns in the game out of all 77 guns that are higher than level 30. They're all below it. Um, some of the DLCs were as low as level 12 or 11, some of them. So I'm hoping that that stays that way um, because MW 2019 not only was a trash fucking game, but also has one of the worst leveling systems in the game's history. With the level 70 plus levels. Same with Vanguard. Had one of the worst leveling systems ever. Had some guys I think were even level 80 in that game. Which is just fucking stupid. Um, so we'll have to wait and see that. Uh, we, we got some images of the. Uh, some of the, the vault edition skins. As well as the camos. Um, if you guys want to check them out. I have them over my discord. Um, they're very cool looking. I think from what it looks like, the the Black Cell theme this year for MW3 is going to be silver themed. So if you didn't know, um, a lot of people were bitching that Black Cell was too much gold camos. Well, that was kind of the idea. Black Cell this season, really this year entirely, was a gold theme. They stuck with that theme the entire year. I assumed everyone knew that. Um, but it does appear that Black Cell this year will not be a, another additional gold theme. It will be a silver diamond theme. So that's very, very dope. And, yeah, man, that's pretty much everything we know new about the game. There's a bunch of finite details, but I will be breaking that down once we're actually in the beta. Um, it'll be a lot easier than sitting here me re just reading text from a, a patch note list um, when I can actually show you guys the things like settings and guns and, and stuff like that. And obviously with the beta, we'll get to see the leveling system because I'm sure we'll see at least two guns being the full rank. Um, and we'll get to see, maybe get to see how camos work. I don't know. Usually betas don't have camos, but maybe we'll get lucky and we'll get to see like one gun this camo pattern. I just want to know if it's four camos per gun or it's going to be like a hundred camos per gun. You know, I really hope it's still the uh, model for two style where it's very quick and easy to gold Orion and plat and poly and all that. I really hope it's really super easy um, because I want to get on that ultra mastery gun as early as possible because, you know, playing MW2 right now, trying to do this ultra mastery gun is yikes. Um, but that being said, I am going to let you guys go. I'm out of gameplay. I have like 30 minutes of gameplay, but for some reason it's all fucking corrupt. So GG's PlayStation for that one. Um, so yeah, but I'm going to go back and finish grinding. I might be live tonight. I don't know. I'm kind of taking a break from streaming until the new, the, 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 the battle rail and the, uh, not the battle rail, the beta drops in the full game. Um, I think Mono for two for me for streams is pretty much over now. I think it'll be a, I'll start streaming again once MW3 and that is all out. But with that being said, man, thank you guys for watching the video. I love you all. And um, Sledgehammer is better than Treyarch. I'm not sorry about that.